guys, how's it going? Brendan here, aka Mr. Weaver Face, and today I wanted to go through my Super Nintendo collection. I am overdue to do a full game room tour, and I will be doing that shortly. It's been about a couple years since I've done that, and the main issue is just not having this place look presentable to do a nice video of all my video games. So until then, I did want to showcase my Super Nintendo games because I love Super Nintendo. I have probably a little over 200 games. Uh, quite a few are in box, complete in box with manual, and uh, most of them are loose. Um, but one thing that I wanted to do was try to have them all look nice with these cases or when I get a game complete in box, um, you know, they look nice next to these plastic cases. So I'll, I will put a link to where I got these plastic cases. They are awesome. And I printed out the covers from the coverproject.net. You can pretty much find almost any game on there, including reproductions. And I will show you a few in, uh, reproductions that I also have uh, with my Super Nintendo collection. So we're gonna start with the uh, in-case and complete in-box games, and then we're gonna go uh, to the loose ones and just showcase some things there. And uh, if I have a story to tell, I will highlight a game um, as I'm going through. Um, Act Razor, amazing game. I have played that many times. I played that on my original SNES back in the day. The Adventures of Batman and Robin, complete in-box with some shrink wrap on there yet. That's a, that's a gem. Uh, Alkahest is a cool um, reproduction game, uh, kind of like an uh, action RPG, very cool. Aliens 3 actually is a good game, I remember playing that. Um, Barbie, yeah, I, I never played that, but I have it in my collection somehow. Uh, Biometal, a uh, very cool game. Uh, Breath of Fire 1 and 2, those are cool to have. This is complete in box, this is just game in box. Chrono Trigger. Oh man, this is the game that I probably, this is why I started my channel, this is um, why I started collecting video games again. I didn't have this as a kid, but there was an awesome pickup. I got this and like Breath of Fire and a bunch of other um, Super Nintendo uh, RPG games for like 150 bucks. And that was right before I started my channel. I wish I would have had a video of that pickup. But yeah, this is an awesome game and that was an awesome pickup uh, that I got. Uh, with that pickup, man, holy cow. Uh, Clock Tower, uh, that's a reproduction. I got all the Donkey Kongs there. Uh, Earth, Earthworm Jim 1 and 2. Uh, going over here, we got Final Fantasy 2 II and 3. Final F Fantasy 5 import. Mystic Quest, I remember playing as a kid. I remember playing Final Fantasy as well. Final Fight's always good. I love the... Uh, the beat em ups, amazing. Front Mission, that's an import, uh, reproduction. F Zero, man, this was the one game I think I got. I got the Super Nintendo, I think, for my 12th or 14th birthday, um, some sometime around there. And uh, this was one of the games, and I played the crap out of that game. That was an amazing game. Uh, Gunman's Proof, that's a cool game. Uh, similar to like Legend of Zelda for the Super Nintendo, um, and that's a reproduction. Check that out if you have not done so. Uh, we got a couple games uh, complete in box. Joe and Mac is good. Uh, King Arthur's World, I remember my friend Dan playing that. That's a cool game. Kind of like Lemmings almost. Uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. If you have a Super Nintendo uh, collection, you definitely need that game. That is a must. Moving on, Mega Man X. Uh, really need to get X2 and X3. Haven't come across them at a good price. Not sure if I ever will. Tournament, oh man, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. This is so fun to be able to play this on the Super Nintendo, similar to like what they had in the arcade. That was just hours of fun, man. Uh, totally frustrated at the end of a game though when the computer would freaking cheat, but. That's how it goes. Pilot Wings. Man, I beat this game. This game is awesome. It is It is so cool. If you've never played Pilot Wings, that also is a must. Uh, Prince of Persia. Got Scooby-Doo. I don't know why I have two Scooby-Doo's. Maybe one's... Is there a variant for Scooby-Doo? I don't know. I gotta, I gotta sort through that. Uh, Secret of Mana. 
Yeah, that's a great game too. I played that uh, definitely uh, when I was a kid. Oh man, that's bringing back some memories. Holy cow. Secret of Mana 2 Reproduction. Uh, separation Anxiety. Uh, this is Shin Megami Tensei. I couldn't really find one, find a good uh, cover artwork in English. That was the best I could do with that. Soul Blazer, I beat that just recently. I played that a few months ago. This game is amazing. Uh, also a very cool uh, action RPG. Star, Star Fox, very fond memories of that. Uh, and many fond memories of Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, I remember competitions like setting up, you know, the brackets and having friends play against each other to figure out who were, who was the champion or keep track of wins and losses with each player. Uh, but man, that is so awesome. Uh, Super Bomberman, uh, Bonk 2, Cast Super Castlevania 2 is amazing. As well as Super Mario All-Stars, Mario Kart, Mario World. Uh, Mario World 2 I've never played. Um, and then I uh, found this reproduction, Super Mario World Return to Dinosaur Land. Uh, a little difficult actually, you gotta figure out how to complete each level. Uh, pretty cool. Metroid Redesign. Uh, Super Metroid is a game I've been meaning to get in my collection. I haven't done so yet, but I do have the Metroid Redesign. Uh, Super Punch-Out is also awesome for the Super Nintendo. Super Smash TV, man, again, to play an arcade game on the Super Nintendo, I played this a lot in the arcade. It was amazing. Love it. Got a couple of Super Star Wars there. Uh, Tactics Ogre um, reproduction. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters and Turtle in Time. Terra Enigma. This game is awesome as well. If you have not played that reproduction, that is a must. I uh, got Tetris Attack, Tetris 2. Got a few, you know, kind of okay games. Never got into Ultima too much, uh, the False Prophet. Uh, but UN Squadron, man, this game is amazing. Holy cow, I beat this. I only, I think I only beat this with the, uh, the like the one character. There are three characters you can choose from. Bunch of, a uh, bunch of planes to choose from a bunch of weapons I'm not sure if I beat it with all the characters but I do remember beating it with one of them uh, we got Ease Wonder from Ease 3 um, and yeah so there you have it those are all the games in case and then all these manuals that I have um, so going back to the loose games uh, these are a um, majority of my reproductions uh, BS Legend of Zelda maps 1 and 2 King of Demons Man, a bunch of them. There's another Metroid Fusion. A couple Zelda reboots. Live a Live. Star Ocean. Treasure Hunter G. Fireman. Uh, another F-Zero F-Zero Grand Prix. Uh, Mega Man and Base. This is also a highlight of my collection. Uh, this was done by the now defunct Time Walk Games. And I actually got this in a pickup on eBay. Uh, it's complete and uh, not sure how much it would be worth. I would say a couple hundred at least. So that's a cool one. And F-Zero on the top. Uh, player's Choice. That is sealed. I don't collect sealed games, but if I come across a sealed game that is special to me, I will definitely keep it. But that's sealed. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, a couple more loose games here. Nothing too special uh, in these piles here. Gradius 3 is a good game. Bunch of sports game. Uh, here are some from recent pickups. Final Fight 3. This is a gem. You know, that's like a $100 game right now. So, I love Final Fight. Those games are awesome. Uh, Mystical Ninja, Beauty and the Beast, Contra 3. That's a game I've been meaning to get in my collection. I'm so happy to have that. Uh, same with Kirby Superstar. Those were These are all recent additions. So, those are cool. I need to get cool cases for those. Uh, Magic Sword, I remember playing that arcade game. Uh, that game is amazing. They do have that, I think, on a Capcom collection for the PS2. Uh, so if you don't have it, definitely get it and play it. It is awesome. Uh, and then Sparkster, uh, that's a rare game as well. So those are cool. Uh, a few more reproductions over here. Um, Shin Megami Tensei, Burning Heroes. 
Uh, Might and Magic 3. I don't think that's a reproduction. But uh, I'm just seeing what I have here. Oh, Dual Orb 2. Okay, there we go. That's all coming back to me. I haven't looked at these games in a while. Uh, I got my Super Game Boy. Got my cleaning kit. That's actually in box. Uh, a couple more games here. Just some randoms. Wrestling games, sports games. Games that I think I have because they're common, but I, you know, I, I didn't have. So they're like in this section here. Uh, I got Qbert 3 here, I think. Yep. Qbert 3. And a few more games. Kind of rough label conditions. I got another Super Mario World. I got to figure out why I have like 50 of them. And yeah, two variants of Porky Pigs, believe it or not. Um, yeah, why I have those, I have no idea. There you guys have it, man. That's my Super Nintendo collection. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. That's really helping me out. Almost up to 350 subscribers. Make sure you like the video. And if there's any games that I need to play immediately, please comment in the comment section below for the Super Nintendo. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching and take care.